another week of highlighting a couple athletes who have been making a bit of noise, but might not have gotten that recognition that they really do deserve. Let's jump into it. First off, Quincy Hall from the United States. Now, in the 400 meter hurdles over the past couple weekends, he has run 48.55 seconds and 48.51 seconds. Those are the third and fourth best times in the world this year. And sure, we haven't seen, of course, the top athletes like Ry Benjamin or Carson Warholm open up their season, but these couple performances are really significant for Hall for a couple of reasons. First off, Hall's personal best is 48.48 seconds, which he ran all the way back in 2019 when he won the NCAA championships for South Carolina. In 2020, he actually chose to go pro for going a couple years that he had left in the NCAA, and that was a year that we had off. He then was a little bit quiet in 2020 and didn't really do well. He made it to the Olympic trials, but he didn't even finish his 400 meter hurdles heat. He crashed out, unfortunately. So he really hasn't been showing the performances that live up to the potential that he set back in 2019. But now with these performances, he looks to be in top form once again, right? Really close to his personal best, a couple hundredths of a second off that. And he might be able to challenge for a spot to the world championship team for the United States. Now, don't get me wrong, right? The 400 meter hurdles is stacked. And not even talking about on the global stage, right? That's a whole different level. But even just in the United States, right? Of course, we have Rye Benjamin, we have Kenny Selman, we have David Kinzera, right? We have Khalifa Rooster, who's a world leader right now. And also Sean Burrell, right? The NCAA champion from 2021. He's a little bit injured, but he might be in the mix as well. But if Hall can maintain this consistency as the season progresses and put things back together, he might be a sleeper pick to make that US team to the world championships. And at that point, who knows what might happen. So keep a lookout for Hall as we get closer to the USA championships. Sticking with the 400 meter hurdles, we have to talk about Gianna Woodruff who competes for Panama. Now, similar to Hall on the men's side, the women's 400 meter hurdles is going to be extremely stacked for Woodruff. Between Sydney McLaughlin, Delilah Muhammad, and Femke Bowl, that women's hurdles is stacked on the global stage. But Woodruff is already having an amazing season in 2022. Over the hurdles, she has run 54.60 seconds to open up her season a couple weeks ago. And then just this past weekend at the Drake Relays, she ran 54.88 seconds. Those are two of the fastest times of her career and rank her number four in the world this year. That 54.60 is also her fastest season opener of her entire career and her fifth fastest time ever. She also ran the 400 meters a couple weeks ago and ran 52.43 seconds, showing that she's improving her flat speed to translate over to the hurdles. Now, she trains with Delilah Muhammad and the hurdle mechanic crew down in Texas, so she is around great company in a great training group, and she competes for Panama, so she doesn't have to worry about trials or qualifying for the world championships. She already has a lane, essentially, in Eugene later this summer. So she also finished seventh place at the Tokyo Olympic final last year. So a huge, huge performance for her. And that year, 2021, was her best year ever. Coming off to of that, she's already starting off on a very high note. Again, her fastest season opener of her entire career, 54.60 seconds. And there is a lot more to look forward to. If she's maintaining this consistency leading into the world championships, she is going to be a force to be reckoned with, again, when we're looking at the top, McLaughlin, Bull, and Muhammad, they're probably pretty solid there, but Woodruff might be able to get into that final again and really might be able to push something very, very fast. So keep a lookout for Woodruff. We're definitely gonna be seeing a lot more from her as the season progresses. So again, these are just two other athletes who are making a little bit of noise, but go in the comments below. Let me know any other athletes who are kind of flying under the radar, but having some really great seasons that we need to keep an eye out for. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.